Hey guys, I've never actually talked about this because I've actually almost always ignored this. A lot of people come to us and talk about, you know, Bitcoin being an amazing store of wealth. Now, before the guys who tell me you don't know about Bitcoin, so don't talk about Bitcoin, this video is not about Bitcoin, it's about real estate being a store of wealth and what's my opinion with regards to it. Perhaps we could exchange opinions and you could give me yours as well. We can agree to agree or agree to disagree. Show real fast. All right, guys, welcome back. So let's talk about real estate being a store of wealth. I've never necessarily talked about it in that aspect. Why? Because I've always said, look, real estate is real estate. It's like a business, okay? You purchase it, you run it, you get net income or rental income from it, and then there are good times, and then there are so very good times, right? I don't want to say bad times, but you know, sometimes rental income's returns go up, sometimes they don't go up, right? It is what it is, it's part of business, and you've got to be continuously adding value to real estate for you to be able to get back value from real estate. However, in the current scenario where we are at the moment, I think that real estate being an immovable real asset in a value driven city is a genuine store of wealth. Now, please, please, I am not making it compete with gold or Bitcoin. I'm talking about a genuine store of wealth as an immovable real asset that you can touch, right? My ring is something real, in my opinion. You can touch. If I throw it on the glass, it's going to ping off, right? And it is one of those things that technically give you income, right? And why do I say in the current circumstance, the current scenario, it's store of wealth? Well, what's happening globally, right? Inflation's going up, right? We've seen the numbers coming up from the US, from Turkey, uh, even in Dubai, right? You've, okay, I don't want to be very negative around it. So hopefully we don't attract that negativity, but you know, it is what it is. And we hope that we'll be on the good side of more money coming in. So we're not going to get bothered with the, with the issues, right? But a lot of people have been talking about this and I want to bring this to the fore that real estate, especially in a value driven city like Dubai, where the leadership is so focused on giving back value to the people who invest here is a very good store of wealth as the inflation goes up and as the dollar, I'm not going to use the word collapse. There's better pundits out there who are more knowledgeable about the financial industry who can give you more advice about this. But as the dollar, they say, is looking to collapse, right? Which is one of the reasons that Bitcoin's going up. Now, Bitcoin's going up and a lot of people talk about Bitcoin as being an awesome store of wealth. I just think it's awesome as well. It's just digital. To me, it's not really real today. Maybe it'll, I'll feel real after a month with regards to Bitcoin. And this is not to be a naysayer on Bitcoin, right? If you've got money over there, that's awesome. But perhaps you would like to diversify a little bit. And real estate is real. It's immovable. You can see it. You can touch it. it ain't going anywhere as long as the city that you buy it in is continuously putting in value, right? So if you end up buying in Detroit where the car industry died and the city just stopped innovating, well, then your real assets depreciating, right? But in a city like Mumbai, Dubai, Shanghai, Paris, London, where the municipalities are coming together to rack their brains to add more value, essentially speaking, your real asset goes up in value, even if it doesn't, at least it's storing wealth, right? So your cash that's just sitting in the bank, like Pablo Escobar had, cash just sitting in the barn, that was a big problem because he didn't have inflation, but he had rats, rust coming and taking away his money, right? But if you've got cash just sitting in the bank and there's inflation out there happening, then you know, technically your cash is less money tomorrow, right? Now, in a scenario where people are talking about a recession and a crash. I personally don't subscribe to that theory, but I want to go back to uh, something that happened in 2008. I was sitting across the table from a billionaire. It was me and my mentor. 
uh, and we were in a meeting, right? I'm not going to say that I was in the meeting. I was in the meeting with my mentor, uh, who was 50 years plus, you know, and that meeting was basically with a billionaire across the table. His name is Michel Kanu. And he said something very interesting at that time. He said, look, in this recession that's coming in, a couple of businesses are going to do super well, right? He talked about alcohol. He talked about tobacco because people, you know, it's kind of like that one of those addictions, like who quits smoking even in a recession, right? Maybe you smoke a cheaper pack of cigarette, but you still smoke, right? Then he talked about FMCG, like the food and the movable goods, like, you know, coffee, tea, banana, like this is still gonna do well. And in my personal opinion, good value real estate in a good city where people are living and wanting to come to that city, is also going to be one of those things that's going to hold value. Even if it goes down, what we've seen in the US, Toronto, Paris, even with the global financial crisis, prices will go down for a while, but they'll jump back up because there's an increasing population in the world. The value-driven cities attract people coming in. Therefore, your property, if even it goes down during a super depression, it still bounces back up and essentially holds and stores wealth for you that hedges you against inflation. There's not a super rocket science complicated video, but you need to start thinking from this angle because real estate's real, it's immovable. And my one condition is it should be in a city that's continuously adding value. If that's the case, then it's a great store of wealth for you as well. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. My name is Fahad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in 2006 in Toronto, Canada, and since 2007, I've been practicing real estate in Dubai. If you want to work with me, reach out. There's a forum and a mobile number that you can reach out to be able to work with me. I do do paid consulting to help you with my services. My team and myself are available. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, so that they may be able to benefit from the advice given here. My role, my goal is to invest in your life and your future. Thanks for watching.